Six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. Another joy of Game of Thrones is the friends you've made, actually, for life. And um, Richard is one of them. And, um, uh, and I was very fortunate that I had a majority of my stuff was with Richard. And, and I, I just adore him and I trust him implicitly. And, and I think it would, I mean, I mean, it, for me personally, it's, I'll never forget the way he, he said, mother. That's yeah. pretty nice. That's no, that's yeah. sweet. That's nice. Um, yeah. He'll never say it again, but <laughs> that's that's beautiful. I know. That's really nice. Now, if you had a pound for every time you've been asked some variation of a question about Jon Snow, how rich would you be? I wouldn't have to act ever again. <laughs> I wouldn't have to do anything. I'd never lift a finger again. I'd just sit in my home. What would you buy with all that money? <laughs> <laughs> I'd buy a massive Jon Snow with loads of swords coming out of him and be like, see. <laughs> I mean, who, who? John who? Who? Oh, I'm not really sure. Little character? John Snow. Ah! No, he's dead. It's funny and not funny because I don't understand why there's so much pressure on my character for mm. bringing him back. Maybe because I have some magical powers, but I've never brought anyone back to life. I mean, I have some potions. I give birth to Shadow Baby. I can put leeches on <laughs> on people's genitals, but, <laughs> you know, it doesn't What you do in your I spare time has nothing to do with the, what we're talking about. No, go ahead. <laughs> How does it feel that people have named their kids after you? That's really weird. I met like this, <laughs> they were, oh, it was so embarrassing. It was this really ugly, like really ugly dog that I saw the other day. And this woman was like, oh my God, my dog is named Delta after you. And I was like, oh, thanks. Good. <laughs> so cute. That's awesome. I buy a massive, massive model, like model of Jon Snow. And what would you do to it? repeatedly kill it. Yeah. In front of people. <laughs> In front of people. <laughs> yeah. Like, just to reiterate the point, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is how he dies. When you walk around someplace like Comic-Con, do you see people cosplaying as your character? I, I've seen a guy, yeah, I saw a guy. I mean, the, the most disturbing thing actually was like, I was in uh, Sydney. Well, not disturbing, it was kind of funny, but I was in Sydney and a guy came up to me and said, hey, Dad, and it was, uh, he was comp looked exactly like Joffrey after Joffrey died with all the blood, like, hey, Dad. And then there was a Jamie who was also really good with the, the stump and... It's, uh, I, you know, I, it's cool because you have people that are so passionate about all, all things pop culture and also about Game of Thrones and then, and then you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a... It's, you know, we wouldn't be here without them. If they'd like film the wolves separately, like the dog separately in LA, and then mm. CGI them to make them bigger. So they're actually real. They're being really vicious. They tra they train so well. You just like take a bone away from them, and they're like ah. <laughs> um, which is what I'm like with food. <laughs> just to let you know. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah. Do you, do you love your characters, or do they drive you insane at times? Or yes, both. Both. Yeah. Do you, do, I, do, I do. I do love them. Uh, even even the bad guys, even the ones I kill. Even Ramsey Bolton. You know, Ramsey's a misunderstood fellow. <laughs> <laughs> what are we misunderstanding? <laughs> he had a hard childhood. <laughs> How would you describe your relationship with the dragons this season? And I just want to emphasize that relationship is underlined. It is it's underlined. a little implicit. I see it. No, it's not. It yeah. is. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. My, my relationship with my children is it's getting a little turbulent this season. Okay. They're sort of teenagers, and teenagers like to act up yeah. every now and again. They're going out back, smoking cigarettes. They are. They are. Stealing the car. Mama not having any of it, so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm here with Conleth Hale. You, of course, play Varys. It's wonderful to see you with hair. Oh, thank you very much. It grows back every year, so... You shave it at the top of the season and then it grows back? Yeah, yeah. The, I got the part and then they told me, oh, by the way, you got to shave your hair. So your character, Varys, pulled off just a crazy, crazy... <laughs> thank you. Your character pulled off a crazy rescue at the end of last season. Why help Tyrion? Well, because I think he's worth saving. I think he's one of the few wholly decent people uh, in King's Landing, in that whole world, even though he's killed his father and his ex-girlfriend.
She was always a strong woman, and now she's a strong, independent woman. Exactly. Who don't need no man. <laughs> All right, we have our first question from uh, Facebook here for you from Alex H. And he says, uh, what kind of experiences would Arya and Brienne have shared if Arya had agreed to travel together? Um, they would have gone to the spa and <laughs> <laughs> they would have got their nails done. <laughs> no, I'm totally joking. Um, they, I think they would have been so great together. I would have, they should do a spin-off show of that. Like a, a buddy comedy? Like had Arya had gone with Brienne. Uh, I love all my sort of one-on-ones with Lena and Charles and yeah. I have a bunch this year with some more actors that I haven't gotten a chance to work with the past three seasons and though the, as an actor those are the most satisfying to me that's great no I mean you get a good plethora of satisfying scenes on this show anyway it's hard to choose right nice use of the word plethora yeah, thanks I, I had that one in my back pocket yeah that's yeah, good I love you for out of all the cast members, you're the one who looks most different in person because you're not wearing that all that armor. Uh, no, I'm, I don't tend to wear the armor in everyday life, <laughs> uh, only for work. Uh, what, what is it like being a red priestess who's so obsessed with fire, being surrounded by cold. the coldest place on earth, right? Oh, I know. It's very unlucky that I'm, I'm cold always. Like, I'm cold now. And uh, it's, it's a little unlucky that this, the, the script says she's never cold. But hey, that's probably the only downside to it. Yeah, San Francisco isn't quite the wall, but it's still a little bit chilly. Oh, man, I love it, but you know, I get I get cold when it's when it's bloody hot. So, and it's and, it's, and Sansa was actually she kind of started even in a more innocent place, and before the depression kicked in too. So she's really. Oh yeah, there's innocent, depressed, um, depressed, depressed, <laughs> and then strong. Yeah. Which you'll definitely see this season. If you had three dragons of your own, what would you name them? Um, oh, that's a good question. Kind of feel like Valerian would be a nice one, um, and maybe Bob and uh, and Gilbert. So, uh, Kira M from Facebook has a question for you, and it is, whose side are you on in the Game of Thrones? Team Stannis, man. Team Stannis. It would sort of be a betrayal if you weren't. Oh yeah. No, I cannot say anything else. I'm uh, being visited right now by Varys the Spider, played by Conlon Hill. How are you, sir? I'm very well, thank you. Oh, How are you're you? very... Uh, you seem almost in character right now. No, yeah, really? The hair? Yeah. <laughs> well, just, uh, you know, hands behind your back. Oh, no, they're usually you look, here. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's true. That's yeah. right. I don't have my big sleeves. I usually have a novel in there mm, oh, for do you? between takes, yeah. Oh, nice. So, so you can just pull it out and read. Read to Peter Dinklage. Oh, oh does he not read? No. Oh, it's nice that someone's there to entertain yeah, you. Yeah, he colors in, though. Very, oh, that's very great. well. Inside Does he stay the within the, I was going to say, yeah. he stays within the lines? Always, that's good. Always, always. <laughs> awesome. Well, are we, going to have an, are we going to have some crazy scenes like that in the next season? Can you give us a hint? None at all. None. She's Come on! Brienne's doing cross-stitch. No way! She, she's wearing slippers. Uh -huh. She's relaxing with a magazine. Mm -hmm. Listening to music. Like doing a home petty. Who has the best costumes on set and why? Oh, that's a trick. They're all brilliant costumes. But I'd have to say mine, just because I can have a packed lunch, uh, <laughs> a novel, a board yeah. game, everything can go up my sleeves. So. Yeah, what do you, I think Varys has a few things up his sleeves. Yes, uh, but I can't reveal any of them, obviously, or they'd kill me. Yeah. The heat eviscerates me here, but uh, um, Dorne, uh, you know, I, I like other things about Dorne. I like the hot food, I like the hot women. Oh, Dorne hot Dorne women and Dorne. Dorne, oh yeah, I know, the sand snakes. They, they do, yeah, and a lot of Dorne has a lot going for it. Somebody asked me that, you know, I've lost two kings, three kings. I would just like to point out that I wasn't there when um, the first one went. Uh, and Jamie Lannister told me to guard somebody else when Joffrey went. Oh, throwing Jamie under fault. the bus. Not my fault. Not my Not fault. Not your fault at all. He made me guard Marjorie. She was perfectly fine at the end of the wedding.